Welcome back to Juniper Ridge, everybody. Today is the day I've been waiting for. I'm super excited. It's been over a hundred and then wind blowing 50, 60. So today it's cooled down. We don't have a lot of wind. It's a perfect day for the cube reveal. So we're going to set up the cube, the easy up cube. It's in here, this is the pop-up and the cube is in the bag below. So these are excellent camping tents. Um, we use the heck out of them. And they're exclusively exclusively from Easy Up. So, I mean, as a product, I just I can't speak any higher of of uh, of a tent. You know, this is the best tent I've ever had in my life. They're fantastic. We, we go to the coast. We don't get wet. Uh, we have additional sides that can go on them, and there's room actually to sleep four comfortably. So, uh, and and a dog. So we always take our dog with us. So we have four people and a kennel that go in this tent comfortably. And then we have another one where we can put our clothes, our food, or, you know, outdoor kitchen, whatever we want to do. So it's kind of a nice luxury camping type. We have the small tents and the little pop-ups and everything, but man, at the coast, you get soaked in them. This one, dry as a bone. It's just awesome. So we're gonna go through the easy up setup, then we're gonna go through the cube setup and uh, show you how it works. Thanks for joining us. Also, I'm going to have my uh, wife, Texas girl. She's going to be helping me because we always plan this as, as a team. We do it as a team when we're camping. You'll get to see it in future videos when we're out in the woods or at the coast or whatever, but we're going to set it up like we normally do. And uh, she's going to be describing the process. So I'm going to switch mics with and give them, give it to her. So the best way to do this when you're taking it out of the bag, I have everything stored in just the one bag, um, is to put everything, take it out, lay it out. So like, here's the cover. And this is the pyramid, um, easy up. And this is a 6.4 cubic foot uh, easy up. And the cube is a 6.4. So when you're getting the, picking out your cube there's a five four and then there's a six four so basically you want to choose the one that's best for you and your family um of course like he said there's four of us that sleep in this tent plus our dog so i wanted the big the bigger one the 5.4 is really nice my father has that one so i really enjoy these you can set this up in less than 10 minutes maybe 15 on a windier day So the best way to do this, um, because then it, the jeans are open, open it up, corner, and then remember center. Oh, that's right, center up middle. Right there. Okay, now we need the cover. You might have to move it back. Move the camera. We're gonna reposition. There we go. So once you extend it out, it's going to be really nice. Um, then you're going to take your cover. Open up your cover. double line inside these corners with elastic, uh, with uh, Velcro. So basically it's super easy to put up. Make sure you have your corner set and the, uh, and 
everything is on right. These do fit. And if your cover ever gets destroyed, um, you can order a brand new one. All you do is you give them the, the name of the, the frame, which this is a pyramid. This is the biggest one. This roughly cost me $165. So th these are super, super nice. So once again, um, you can go from corner to corner and go up with it now. Up and out. Yep. And they latch right on in. So there's the first part. So this is pretty cool. So this is a regular 10 by 10 pyramid frame and they are amazing. Okay, so now let's hope this is the correct one and this is not the five, six. Looks right. It looks right. Like I said, we do have two two identical bags. And what's nice about these du these duffel bags is they're extremely made well, very well. Um, also has, carries four stakes for the four corners of the tent that you can put in at any time you need. And another cool thing is they have a little mat, like a doormat that sits out in front of them. Also, they, they have, uh, we have the sandbags which are not on. Oh, yeah, and then I'll grab our sandbags here in a little bit, and I'll show you for a windy area. Okay. So, I'm going to go with mine. Why is this one of the best tents? So this clips right inside to the frame. We'll remove the, we'll move the camera in so we can talk about the clip system, how they do this. It's pretty freaking cool how they have this set up. The best way they say to do this is to extend the front legs. I don't find that the best way and have it at an angle because this is a really tall inside. So I have a bucket. And if you're going camping, of course, you're going to have a bucket or you're going to have a, a step ladder, a log or something. You know, normally Juniper is, uh, this is why it takes two people is the best way to do this. Um, because one's usually taller than the other, or you have a friend that's with you. That's really tall. who can just reach right up in there and click them in. That's really cool. But this is one of the nicest tents I've seen in a while. So here's the door, but we're still open. So go ahead and take those to the back corner. Right, so we're gonna move around. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna have to grab. So he's going to need the bucket. Like I said, you're always going to need something because it's super tall like i said this is one of the biggest ones they make frame wise and it's super super easy just so you guys can see this um look it's not very stable no. normally you'd have a log or something or yeah this thing's not very stable oh there we go okay yeah but that is not gonna work so this is like my way of doing it. I can set this up by myself if I choose to. Okay. So then you just take those clips and you put them on opposite directions of each other and on opposite sides. Oh, and it doesn't matter if they get twisted or not. Well, they are for sure. Well, that's totally fine. 
we can fix it from the bottom. All right, so now you remove, so that's pretty simple. That's one piece. So we'll go ahead and reposition this. It's right here. So we'll go to this back corner. Okay guys, so back corners, like I was saying, have two different plugs in them. So these go all the way to the corner and you just clip them on. We're going to move this back so we can get that up and then we'll show you the rest of the way. Corners, there's a little hook, so we'll go. Ooh, gimbal's not working right. So there's a little hook and a hole down at the bottom, right there, that you put it into, and that'll hold it. And you will have to make adjustments on this. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I make adjustments 24/7 on this when I, we're using it. And then all you do is you do the strap. So we were just opening the door up and now we're gonna go inside for a tour. It's getting kind of bright out, so we'll head on in. Super spacious. We've got a full ceiling and there's your vent hole. We've added a, fly, um, a, a battery light. So when we pop in here, we just turn it on and we got light in the evening. We've got side window, back window, back on the other side window 10 by 10 four of us sleep in here comfortably all right and a huge door you can open take the whole door off you can unzip both sides roll it up at the top up there see the three holders 
And then we've added a net feature over here. This clips into the tent. You can store keys, wallets, whatever stuff you want to store up there. You can get these additionally. And then out front, when we got it, it came with the doormat. So you could come up to your tent, take your shoes off, and then head into the tent, and you won't get sand, dirt, whatever, grass, mud, sticks, whatever. It won't get in there. But you can see this Easy Up Cube. Very nice. Awesome rain protection. We've got additional sides that go on all the way around. So if it's raining, we can put our sides on. We leave the front on the leeward side so the wind will be blowing at the back of the tent in the rain. It drains off the top of the tent and down the sides to the ground. So the front, we still have a gap where rain will drip down and it won't get in the tent. So you're virtually waterproof. There's the front right there. The sandbags on the side, you can stake them down, but at the beach, you're not gonna get a really good hold. So we have sandbags that we put beach sand in and we strap those to each corner of the Easy Up. And that'll additionally keep it down. So we're pretty secure, even with high winds over, over at the coast, we don't have any problem. And the, another awesome feature of this Easy Up is right down here. This is, hopefully you can see it, that is the doggy door. And through this doggy door as well, you can get uh, an external heat and, air, and or air conditioner and you pipe the tube right into that doggy door, zip it right to it, so the only thing coming in is the tube, and you could pipe air conditioning into the tent or heat. So, extremely nice. Who needs a motel room when you've got this? We also have, a, this is a 6.4. We also have a 5.4, which is a little smaller. And we're gonna set that up in our next video. And we also have a 6.4 screen tent which we use for eating food or just hanging out if the bugs are out, if we're up in the woods, you know, whatever. We don't want to be around the bugs and we want to get out of them. We just go in the screen tent and hang out. So, um, and, and the bugs and, and bees don't get into your food. So super handy. So we've got three cube units that we'll have fully set up. This is number one. This is our living quarters. The next one is my father-in-law's living quarters. And then the screen tent is the family eating and gathering area. We also, um, my brother-in-law has another one. So that's actually four units. So when we go to the coast, man, you can see us for miles away. It looks like little mini cabins set up all over the place. It's pretty cool. So that is our Easy Up. We will leave a link in the description below for the Easy Up um, cube system and the pop-up that goes with it. This is the pyramid. And you're picking the pyramids up for about 189 bucks right now. Well, the whole setup right now is, I guess, about 189 bucks on easyup.com. So check it out. Go to easyup.com. I guess they're running right around 190, man. So holy cow! Talk about a deal. It's the only deal we have in this in these days. Um, I thought they were around 369. You know, but it 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 depends on what you want and the options you want to get with it, but. I mean, to get this set up for 190 bucks, come on. Regular tents don't touch this thing, so check it out. Thanks for coming to Juniper Ridge, and uh, I'll get you on the, catch you on the next video with the 5.4 and the screen tent, easy up pop-ups, uh, cubes. So we shall catch you next time. Peace out.